Eric Kaluzic with all corners home inspections. This is a supplemental crawl space evaluation for this left rear corner of this structure here on uh, Fern in uh, Philomath, Oregon. Got high water conditions underneath the home. Uh, it would appear as if the uh, home foundation gets up to about 10 inches of water in the crawl space. Uh, there, the uh, soil is wet underneath the ground level uh, underneath the vapor barrier. We've got a fair amount of downed insulation, wet insulation. Uh, so, and the, and the water actually gets up to the post levels. I can see water infiltration signs at all the crawl space vents, meaning that the, at, at the perimeter of the structure where the vents are, uh, I can see uh, historic sort of streaming of water at those locations. So you can see that there, that there's uh, vertical lines running down from that screen at the center point of the um, of the of the video right now. Uh, the over time, the challenge is that these posts, which are on top of the piers, uh, will become rotten, and wood destroying insects act, uh, wood destroying insect activity will occur at these areas. Um, it's a fairly tight crawl space, at about oh. 20 inches between ground level and the underside of the floors. Uh, and again, a lot of down wet insulation uh, and standing water at at least uh, two locations here. Uh, I'm not gonna crawl through fetid water. You can see that that's uh, sort of standing murky water. Uh, don't make a habit of doing that. I do have wet crawl capabilities, but uh, I have not been contracted to do that at this time. We're going to call this inspection uh, about 70% complete for this portion of the home because of that fetid water condition. Uh, we recommend getting a sump pump down here, maybe a new vapor barrier on top, remove all the impacted insulation. We'll also, uh, bears mentioning that we have uninsulated uh, distribution plumbing in the crawl space as well. Eric Kaluzic, All Corners Home Inspections.